Welcome to The Wrap. I'm Jenny Horn here to take you through today's market action. Let's take a look at where markets closed on Monday. All four major indices finished the session higher, led by the Nasdaq's 1.2% gain. The S&P 500 and Russell 2000 both jumped roughly eight tenths of a percent, and the Dow climbed half a percent. Now taking a look at the leading and lagging sectors on the day. Eight of the 11 S&P 500 sectors closed higher with gains led by the consumer discretionary sector, followed by 1% jumps in technology and industrials. Utilities on the other hand fell over 1% while real estate and healthcare also fell on the day. Let's now look at some more stocks on the move. Broadcom soared to record highs, closing out its seventh straight session of gains with a near 5.5% jump on Monday. The stock continues to climb after reporting a blowout quarter last week. Broadcom also announced a 10 for 1 stock split, which will occur before the market opens on July 15th. Broadcom is up 38% this month and almost 64% now on the year. Adobe closed down over 1% on reports the FTC is suing the software maker over hiding termination fees. The FTC alleged that Adobe pushed consumers towards the annual paid monthly subscription without properly disclosing that canceling the plan in the first year could cost hundreds of dollars. The FTC also claimed that Adobe prominently displays the plan's monthly cost during enrollment but buries the early termination fee. Adobe responded to the legal complaints saying they will refute the claims in court. And GameStop shares tumbled over 12% following the company's annual shareholder meeting. During the meeting, CEO Ryan Cohen emphasized a continued focus on profitability through cost efficiencies and a more streamlined retail presence. The meeting lasted all of 15 minutes and also included Cohen's brief remarks about closing an unspecified number of stores in the near future. Monday's meeting was delayed from last Thursday after the company said unprecedented demand created technological issues. Let's now look at what to watch for on Tuesday. May retail sales kick off economic data in the morning, followed by industrial production and business inventories. Adding to the list are a handful of Fed officials that are expected to speak Tuesday, including Thomas Barkin, Susan Collins, and more. On the earnings front, KP Home is the most notable company, reporting tomorrow after the close. That'll do it for The Wrap. I'm Jenny Horn. Remember to tune in 24-7 to schwabnetwork.com.